What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be going over um, a pretty good ETF, monthly paying ETF. Um, and this ticker symbol is JEPI. This is the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. It's a fairly new ETF. Um, it just IPO'd May of 2020. But so far, as we can see in the charts, it's done pretty well. And the best thing about it is it has a pretty good dividend yield while also having a pretty good chart. Um, what this does is it invests in large cap stocks, primarily in the S&P 500, as you can see here, um, and it chooses the lowest volatility stocks to produce monthly income. Now, what we do with this is they are selling covered calls against these, these stocks so if we go to the say one week chart we can see it's pretty much break even and as we know this past week has been pretty brutal uh, we've been in a downtrend from all of the inflation fears uh, so we can check out spy and we can see it is down 1.6 percent which is a lot worse than what this fund has been doing so this this fund excels in flat markets because it's selling um, option premiums constantly every month and it gets back to us in the form of a dividend uh, so let's take a look at this ETF so we do have an expense ratio of 0.35 percent and that's actually fairly low for an actively managed fund um, in this description here we can see that it is selling call options so the downside of call options is in a flat or bear market, you are making money from selling these call options. But if the underlying stocks do happen to skyrocket, you are missing out on additional profits. Uh, as you can see here, um, the ring call provides the fund with additional income, but may mean that JEPI will miss out on the full gains of increases. Um, so this is pretty much like how to hedge your bets. It's a pretty safe ETF, and we can take a look at the dividend evaluation. Um, so you're getting 32 cents per share every month um, with an estimated annual dividend rate of $3.81. So if you have $5,500 of capital and you buy 100 shares of the stock, you are getting $32 every single month. And with dividend reinvestments enabled, it is going to enable you to get that juicy compound interest over time. Um, so if you have, say, $55,000 in your portfolio and you buy a 1,000 shares of this ETF, you're going to be getting a hefty $320 in dividends every single month. And that's going to add up pretty quickly over the, 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 the months because you're getting this every single month and with dividend reinvestments enabled, you are going to be getting some good profits. So with the holdings, we can see that we have some pretty recognizable names. We have your classic fame companies, the Microsoft, Apple, uh, you got Amazon in there, Google, and you also got other companies such as Honeywell, Target, um, yeah, Costco, MasterCard, Progressive, Procter & Gamble, and these are great dividend stocks. All, almost all of these pay dividends with the exception of Amazon and Google. So you're probably wondering why they have stocks that don't have a dividend in here, and that is because you are selling covered calls. So even, even though you aren't really getting a dividend from the stock itself, you are still getting some monthly income from the option premiums. Um, and if you don't know what the uh, option premiums are, you can please leave a comment down below. Um, I do this in my portfolio almost every week. I sell option premiums. It reduces my downside risk. But the downside to selling premiums is that if the underlying stock happens to shoot up, say, 100%, 1,000% in the day, you're going to be missing out on all that profit. But overall, this is a pretty safe ETF. Um, we can check the one year chart. It doesn't really move that much. And even with how the market has been lately, it has still performed pretty well. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.